Yes, hello, my name is Gustav Svedimo and I'm a senior lecturer at Uppsala University, uh, campus Gotland. Uh, the former University of Gotland was engulfed by Uppsala University three years ago, so now, nowadays my employer is Uppsala University. Uh, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, some early results from um, my new project from earthworks to scars of the Cold War, 500 years of coastal defenses of Gotland. And uh, this is completely the opposite of what you have been talking about. Now we're leaving the cities because I'm not going to talk about Visby or Slite or the more famously fortified places of Gotland. But on the, what is often referred to as the countryside harbors. Uh, um, so we start uh, around or the end of the 15th century because this is uh, when we have the first records. As several uh, of the uh, previous speakers have said, Got uh, Gotland was shifted um, 1645. Prior to that, Gotland was invaded and conquered by the Danes in 1361, and 1645 uh, is what returned, or it came under Swedish rule, uh, and was so, and is so still today. But the first um, mentioning we have that there are fortifications in the countryside of Gotland is an addition to the Gotlandic law from 1492. Banning, that says, and banning the destruction of fortification built to protect the country. It doesn't say anything on where these fortifications are situated. The first mention of any lo locations is in a, what we can refer to as an intelligence report to, to Lübeck. There was an emerging conflict there between Denmark and, and uh, the Hanseatic League uh, in, from 1524. Uh, and it lists all these places said to be fortified with different uh, kinds of fortification. And some are said to be newly built, and some are said to be older, maybe 20 or 30 years, built 20 or 30 years uh, older. Uh, the next uh, written source we have is from 1611 and the Kalmar War that has already been, been mentioning. There is an order issued to the governor of Gotland to restore all the decayed fortifications in the harbors. And it also mentions that some of these have been erected in the Nordic Seven Year War between, that's between 1563 and 1570. And again, no locations. But, uh, so few actual traces of these old Danish fortifications are known, but probably many of them are in the same locations as later known Swedish ones. Uh, well, the Great Nordic War uh, that lasted between 1700 and 1721, that was the war that uh, when Sweden lost it, uh, its role as a regional superpower up here in the, in the north, and we lost most of our territories, the Baltic states, uh, Saint, uh, where St. Petersburg is today. Um, and this, the fact that Riga was captured in 1710, and also that Tsar Peter was starting to build a Russian fleet, that did that Gotland became very exposed to an attack. So it was decided in 1711 that we, there, should be, there should be built very many smaller earthworks to protect different sites. And it is all marked on a map, but the map you see is very inaccurate because there were no good uh, uh, small scale maps over Gotland at the, this time. So you see it's very rough uh, where these are. Uh, and this is called Kassel Sandsvik, and I'm going to talk about that later, when four of these are set. Twenty batteries were built, four of them in Visby, only one of these remains. 
Uh, 16 batteries, they are called beach batteries. Uh, that's the term they use for them. Um, were built in the countryside harbor, as you can see marked here on the map. And 10 of these are previously identified and stored in the GIS database we have in Sweden over ancient remains, FMES. And the, 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 the six was to believe to have vanished. But I have identified with uh, two uh, of these vanished ones. I, since the project has just started, I'm just going through the archives and looking at LIDAR data. That is the main things that I have worked with uh, in, so far. Uh, so here we can see one of the still preserved known one. Um, it's um, probably an old Danish fortification because this is right opposite to Stora Karls, uh, where the Danish fleet uh, were spent a lot of their time during the, the great or the seven year Nordic. Uh, Year. So this was probably built by the Danes to protect their fleet. And this is how it depicts in the LIDAR data. And here you can see the Swedish land. And, and it's very similar. And I, my interpretation is, since it's very irregular and very different from the other ones, this is probably built on the Danish one. Because otherwise I don't think, if you plan it from the start, you wouldn't make it as irregular in shape. Uh, so, this is what I could use and looking for the lost ones. Uh, this is the bay, Kappelshamsviken, uh, that we, we, we saw that uh, they had four of these in the map. Two are known to be vanished. Here, there's a modern harbor, and up here, there has been a lime works destroying the remains. So, this one was known. And there is a historian from 1960 who writes that he believed that one was up here also. But if you study the leader data, I found one here. And it's on a courtyard of a farm today. Uh, and I've been inspecting it in field and it's quite clear. And if you compare with the plan, it's very similar. Another one that I think I have found, this is a little bit more uncertain, but there is a mentioning that there was one built here opposite to this uh, small islet. Uh, but here in this area is a military training ground and there are some 19th century uh, forts built here also. But in the leader I found this. Compare. And this is the plan of that fortification. There is a road going through here, uh, so it's damaged, but it might be, and when you see, this is the, the, how it looks today, but this needs a little bit more detailed mapping, but I think I could get that shape, and that might be, or is what my belief is that it's probably that, fort uh, that beach battery. Um, I've also studied historical maps, and this is the map that actually led me into this field. It's, I found a map from 1694, because I've studied these maps over, uh, over Gotland, um, because a large scale map for the entire island uh, between 1692 and 1705. And when I saw this, and it says, old decayed wooden scone in three places. And this is in a place where no one has seen that there have been any older fortification. There is one fortification here built in the 1880s, but no one has seen any older up here. And when I visited the place, it looks like this. No physical remains whatsoever. So if we're going to find something here, I think we have to start with metal detector and see if we can find the spots because there's should be a lot of nails or something like that to find the exact spot and hopefully you can find a coin or something like that to date it because the problem is when they were built because it's before when the Swedes started to build fortify the harbor so is this when the Danes recaptured the island in 1676 uh, to 
79, or is it, is it built by the Danes, or is it built by the Swedes before or after that? Uh, there are more notations in this historical map. This is one from 1697, and this is in, in an area where no fortifications ever have been, I wouldn't guess there would be anything here, but it, it says here in the map, traces of old gabions, uh, that is, like baskets you built to fill with dirt. That is very primitive and quick kind of, of fortification. Um, and this is not mentioned except in a, a Danish source that says that it was a, in 1618 mentioning it as an important harvest site. And there is navigation smart old piers and so there might have been something here. And it's the same, probably old Danish or if it's built by the Swedes, we don't know. Uh, the same here, this is how it looks today. <laughs> Only beach gravel, impossible to do anything. I saw this feature, dug out, uh, dug out and some, I don't know if that is the traces. And there were some mounds in some places. I'm not sure if this is what the remains of the 300 year of gables that has decayed could look like. But uh, the same here, maybe with metal detector, but uh, you could do anything. But of course it's uncertain to link it to just these. Uh, but it's very rough archaeology in trying to do anything here. Uh, and also here we are, one of the main questions of this is trying to identify the places and also trying to figure out because where the Danes are said to have and where the Swedes built are not the same locations. Trying to figure out what governed the location of these. Uh, and I have to move on. So the second place, the second is now we move the 500 years forward in time. Because this is the place where I saw these wooden sconces. And I also noticed four gravel mounds here. And I was thinking, what is this? Has this something to do with the sconces or, or, or what is this? Uh, and first I, I believed that, but then I dug deeper in this and then I realized that it used to be this. So this is a gun battery of 57 millimeter uh, pieces in four bunkers built during World War II. It was closed down in the 60s, but it was destroyed in 2003. And they only took away the upper part and covered the rest with gravel. And when I start to look around in this area, you see a lot of these things. Some of them we know what it is quite easily. So this is a World War II gun that was also closed down in the 60s, left until some 15 years ago when they just took away the gun and filled it up with gravel. This mound, I have to, there used to be a regiment here. I've talked to the old officers. They don't know what, what's underneath that one. And they say it's probably something from the old fortress and that was a fortress that was built in the 1880s. So I would like to also do the contemporary archaeology in this and document map and also record the <coughs> narratives. This is what we have in Sweden. I mean this is only a part of Stockholm archipelago. And this is all closed down today. And all the guns are dismantled and everything. So on Gotland we have many, many more places than this. So we have a lot of contemporary archaeology to do here with all these modern closed down fortifications. Okay, thank you. That was what I...